Well, as we mentioned, Santa Fe Aventis has agreed to buy Genzyme for $20 billion. We're joined this morning by Samuel Isley. He's the managing partner and founder of Orbimed Advisors. Orbimed is the world's largest healthcare investment firm with $5 billion in assets uh, under management. And Genzyme is its second largest holding with about 1.9 million shares. Sam, great for you to join us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. So what do you make of the price? The, the price is fine. All right. Now, it's, it's actually, in a way, not too clear. We're going to get $74 of cash. Right. And then we're going to get this strange creature called a contingent value right. Yes. And it depends on a lot of things. It's going to be a very, very interesting security. Right now, present value, in effect, because we're talking about future events on it. Right. Uh, right now, the value is in the mid single digits. We're not quite sure. The mid single where, digits. Yes, oh, five yes. or six dollars or something yes, I like think that? Something okay. Like that. Yes, indeed. It's gonna be tradable, right? It will be tradable. It will it will decouple when the uh, transaction closes. Uh, investors get their cash, but they also get this, this creature at the same time. Uh, well, as somebody who is going to be holding this quote unquote creature then yes. when this deal <laughs> when this deal gets through, uh, do you have faith that Santa Fe is going to be able to reach this $14 per share target then, I suppose, on this. There's a probability on each, each phase. So there are several uh, milestones or triggers to the CVR. And really, to get the full payout on it is not super high probability. Let's say the probability of, su of full payout is 70%. Really? Uh, but, okay. but it's... Uh, it's but that sounds pretty high to me, though. It's, it's sensible. So we'll, we'll see how it trades. Four, five, six dollars in that range is, is a likely number at closing, which is, mm, let's say, May 1st. Right. And uh, we'll see how it gets there. Well, as a Genzyme shareholder, then, are you satisfied with this deal? Yeah, we're, ha we're happy with it. And uh, this has been a long, uh, well, you can characterize it as cat and mouse, or you might call it a mating dance. But in any event, it's, uh, it's uh, finished, and uh, we'll see uh, real money uh, apparently about May 1st, uh, say early in the, in the second quarter. What, if anything, concerns you about it, though? I think it's, I think it's a good combination, frankly, for both companies. Uh, Genzyme is a, a strong biotech participant. Uh, it's sort of a citizen of the Boston biotech uh, community. Mm -hmm. uh, Santa Fe collects that uh, spot. Right. Uh, they need it. They're losing business in the United States with patent expirations. It's good for Santa Fe. We think Santa Fe shares uh, are, are attractive. They're up uh, this morning. There are a variety of shares that are kind of interesting as a result of this. We've got Santa Fe. Genzyme is going to disappear. Right. But you've got the remaining CVR. And this particular transaction triggers a change of control in another Genzyme alliance with a company called Biomarin. So okay. there's a lot of moving parts here, and all, all are interesting in some way. And, and tell us a bit more about that, that other moving part that you just mentioned, this other partnership. I mean, uh, what would that do in terms of the shareholder value then? Well, it's, 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 a, it's a derivative uh, development. Uh, Biomarin is an independent company with a stock market value. This is far more important to Biomarin than it is to Santa Fe okay. uh, or to Genzyme. Uh, I'm Sam. I'm sure you you know you're familiar with this as well, obviously. But you know, drug mergers have historically not worked very well, right? At several drug makers. I'm thinking about Pfizer, for instance. I, I think you're correct. Um, how do we know that this is actually going to be smooth and go well for Santa Fe and Genzyme? You know, Genzyme is rather freestanding from the point of view of Santa Fe. There are some uh, savings that can be had, but when you say drug mergers haven't worked, these have typically been big distribution companies getting together. Mm -hmm. So Pfizer with Warner Lambert or, or with Upjohn and, and so on. These, these things where you reduce the sales force, reduce, reduce infrastructure and so on. I don't see a big reduction here because it's something of a bolt-on for Santa Fe, albeit an expensive bolt-on. Right. Uh, but Santa Fe has a big a market. bolt-on, okay. Yeah, Santa Fe has a big market cap. That's a $100 billion uh, company and they're paying 20, but uh, you know, that's, uh, they're clearly a winner and they'll drive the show. Are you concerned about, though, uh, any talent loss out of Genzyme through this merger? I think there's always talent loss. Uh, it's tough when you have a uh, sort of more regimented uh, owner than, uh, than your own culture. Uh, so there will probably be some departures uh, at Genzyme. And, and also, Sam, in your view, I mean, you know, obviously there's other holdings, you know, there's other healthcare companies out there, and we've been talking so much about mergers. Do you think that this is going to trigger something else in the healthcare area? In itself, I don't think it triggers anything. I suppose there's a little bit of uh, game theory involved by other big distributors like uh, Santa Fe's, you know, Merck, Shearing Plow, uh, Glaxo, and so on. They see what the, the others are doing and they wonder if they ought to do it as well. Mm -hmm. uh, there are, we're down to precious few sort of major biotechs left. You've got Biogen left, uh, you've got Amgen left, uh, a couple more. Sooner or later, these are 
either likely to be buyers right. uh, or uh, or they're going to be acquired. And it almost can't be helped, right? Because these big drug makers are facing all these patent cliffs, right? Yes, that's true. I, I mean, in the end, I mean, some might say that for Sanofi, this is just sort of holding back the inevitable, which is that they're going to see revenue loss from all of their drugs going off in, patent. Indeed, and that revenue loss is particularly big in the United States, so they, they plug in a whole lot more business in the United States because Genzyme is dominantly a U.S.-based business. Right. Sam? Thank you. Thank we really you. appreciate you joining right. us. That was Sam Isley of Orbamed, a founder and also the managing partner, talking about the Sanofi uh, Genzyme deal.